a cloud hosted router is a powerful solution that we can use if we have infrastructure running in the cloud. There are several use cases as we discussed in the previous class. AWS is the leader in the cloud providers market, so we learn how to create an instance of a CHR in their infrastructure. It's important to mention that if we don't have an account in AWS and we register a new account, we are able to get up to one year of free hosting for a CHR in AWS. So it's quite interesting because now we can have a device running there without paying anything. Then we can start playing with the operating system. If you want to create an account in AWS, you can simply look for the AWS free tier and you can see here in their website. And then if you want to create a free account, you will go through a wizard that eventually is going to give you access to the main console in AWS. During that process, it required to type a credit card, but you won't be charged for 12 months if you are only creating one instance, as we are going to learn in this class. So in my case, I have an account in AWS, and I'm simply going to go to the search bar here at the top, and I will look for the Elastic Cloud Compute or EC2 service. So it's basically a service in AWS that will allow to create virtual machines. So if I go to EC2, now we can simply create an instance. And that instance is going to be running router OS. So if we go here to launch instance, this is going to show this website, launch an instance, and then we can give it a name. So I'm going to say CHR on AWS. And now here we are going to look for the operating system. You can simply type MyRotic. If I press enter, this is going to look in the marketplace for different images. And one of those images is the cloud hosted router. So now I can simply select that image. And then I will click on continue. And now we have that image selected over here. So we'll be using router OS. This is the version 644.3. But now we know how to upgrade the version. And we can be running router OS 7 as well. Then we have the instance type. If you want to be running that device for free for 12 months, then please pick the T2.micro. In some regions, that is going to be the T3.micro. But still, you will see this message here, free tier eligible. Please make sure that you have that label if you don't want to pay for the next 12 months. Then here we have the key pair login. We don't need that because we'll be using the firewall in router OS. And then we have the network settings. We are going to create a new security group. And we are going to allow SSH from anywhere, or we can restrict that. We are going to modify that later in this class. Then we have the storage. So by default here, we have 1 gig. If you want to increase that, you can do that as well. So I'm going to keep all the default settings. And now we'll simply click Launch Instance. And this is going to start creating the instance. So you can see that this is asking for the key pair. So basically, I'm going to create a new key pair. We are not going to use that, but just to fulfill the requirement from AWS. So now we have that key pair. I will download that to my PC. And I will say Launch Instance. This is going to take a few seconds. After that, we are going to get a message that the instance has been created. And we'll be able to view all the instances. So now we can see that the process has been successful. And now we can simply go here to view all instances. And if we come here, you can see that we have the CHR on AWS. So if I select that row, then we can see here underneath all the properties for that specific instance. We can see the public IP that has been assigned to the instance. Also, we can see the DNS. So if we want to have remote access to the device, my recommendation is to use the public IPv4 DNS because this public IP probably is going to change if you stop the device and you restart the router, that IP can change. But the public DNS is going to be the same. So I'm going to copy the DNS and I will paste that in my notepad. So this is my CHR on AWS. So it's going to be the IP or DNS name for that instance. 
So now we are going to make some changes on the security tab to allow the access to the TCP port 8291, the Winbox port. So if I click on security, we can see here the security groups and we have a link to get into that security group. A security group is basically a firewall that is between AWS and this CHR. So now here we have inbound rules and I will edit those inbound rules. We can see that we have one allowing the access via SSH. So I will add a new rule. Custom TCP port 8291 Traffic going to the CHR using TCP port 8291 coming from anywhere. This is going to be Winbox. This is up to you. This is just a string. You can set the message that you want. Now I can simply click on save. And now we have a rule that is going to allow the access via Winbox. So that means that if I go to the Winbox at this point, I have the Winbox over here and I try to get connected to the DNS that we got from AWS. User admin, no password. And then I click on connect. You can see that I have access to that CHR that is running on AWS. The first step is to add a password because I want to be protected. So system users, go to the admin user and then password and we are gonna set a secure password. Remember, this device is mapped to a public IP, so we have a weak password that can be attacked or can be broken easily. So now the next step is going to upgrade the operating system, and to do that, we'll go to System and then Packages, check for updates, and here we can see that on the stable, the latest version is 6.49.7. But I want to use Router 7, so I will go to Development, you can see that the latest is 7.6. Maybe that number is going to be higher now that you're watching the class. So we'll click in download and install. And this is going to download the file and reboot the device dynamically. So we'll wait a few seconds. And after that, I will have the device with the latest version of Router OS. So now I'm back. So I will type the username and now the new password. And now we are in the CHR, and if we check the title bar, we can see that we are running RouterOS 7.6. And this is the DNS name for this instance of the CHR running in AWS. So now we have a functional router with RouterOS running in the cloud. And this is going to be free for one year if you are under the free tier in your account on AWS. I hope that this class has been informative for you. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.